I am sure that I'm not the only one that has struggled with email templates for our projects. Creating HTML table layouts and inline styling is not only time consuming, it often leads to one or more email clients not rendering the email as intended. This has often left me wondering why I could not create a bootstrap document and have it automatically transformed as an email template that is supported by all email clients. That time has now come. We can now create our bootstrap document in Wappler and have it automatically converted thanks to Stuart Yamatino and David Schwartz. David created an NPM package based on Stuart's bootstrap email creation and it is this NPM package that we will be using in this tu tutorial. Here I've created a Node.js project in Wappler to which we will install the bootstrap email package. Although I have created a new project, this could just as easily be added to an existing project. For the installation instruction, we go to the Bootstrap Email Package web page and copy the instruction. Back in Wappler, open the terminal window and paste the instruction into the command line and press Enter to install. While the package is installing, we'll go back to the Bootstrap email page. Here we see that to compile the Bootstrap template, we are presented with a choice. In our case, we will opt for the Gulp plugin. If you have not already installed Gulp on your system, go to the Gulp install page. Copy the instruction and in Wappler we paste the instruction into the command line and press enter to install the package. Back in the Bootstrap email page, click on the Gulp plugin link. This takes us to the Gulp Bootstrap email page. Copy the instruction to install the package. In Wappler, paste the instruction into the command line and press Enter to install. Create a new file and name it gulpfile.js. Open the gulp file and go back to the gulp bootstrap email page. Copy the code under usage. In Wappler, paste the code into the gulp file. Here we will enter the correct paths for our project. The destination will go to the email templates folder. The bootstrap template or source file will be created in the SRC folder. We've used a wildcard for the file name so that any template that is placed here will be compiled. Save the file and exit. Lastly, we will create folders as specified in the gulp file. In the files panel, create a new folder named email templates. Inside that folder, 
create a new folder named src for source. This is where we will create the bootstrap templates from which the email is compiled. The compiled version will reside in the output folder. We have now reached the critical phase of our project. Create a new template. We'll keep it simple with a title only. Save the page. On the command line we enter gulp email and enter. Here we see an error has occurred. There is a missing closing bracket. Open gulpfile.js Add the missing bracket and save the file. Repeating the previous attempt, we see that there are no errors. We now see the compiled version of our template. In the next video, I will show you how to create this template.